everybody, I am Heather and I'm back with another video. Today I'm sharing part three of my December daily album. Sorry it's been a while. I actually finished this mid-January, so not much past December because I love creating it. I just get obsessed and I can't stop. Um, and so I did finish it in good time, but I haven't found the time yet to actually record this video and get it up and shared with you. So sorry about the delay. If you're still working on your December daily, awesome. No worries because here's some more inspiration for you. And if you're done yours, maybe you just love watching some <laughs> share videos of albums or you can use it as inspiration for next year or for any other albums you're creating. So I hope you enjoy this either way. Um, let me know in the comments if you participated in December daily in 2019, this past um, Christmas. Let me know and what you thought of the project, if it was your first year or your 50th year doing the project. I know it hasn't been around that long, but let me know what you thought of it and how you liked it. And also let me know um, what you enjoyed about my album, um, certain aspects that you liked or didn't like or would do differently yourself maybe. So thank you for stopping by and I'll just get into it. So the last page I shared was December 20th where I went on a walk with my good friend. And so now we're on to day 21 where my mom and I went to Hometown Hockey, which is um, put on by Rogers. And it's when the um, hockey station, I guess, with uh, Ron McLean and Tara and everybody they come to different small towns throughout Canada and so it's a really special thing to have them come to your town. Strathmore is where I work and where near where I grew up so it's really close to us which is awesome. Um, I probably showed this tag in the last video because this is for the 20th. I went for sushi with Susie and it talks about the day there. So I probably shared that. I'll put that back in there. But then this is on to hometown hockey. I stamped the skate again from the Canadian Winter Collection. Most things here are from the Canadian Winter Collection. This paper, these hockey sticks I cut out, hockey mom here. There's a picture of myself and my mom. I love that. Um, and then we met an author. Her name's Lucy Oh, no, that's the character. Lucy Tries Sports is the book series, um, but the author is Lisa Bowes, so check her out. She's got some really awesome children's books all about a girl trying out different sports, so I think that's really important for kids to see. Um, try to get... Oh, there's other stuff in there. Um, this is an envelope that we got from a person sent to our Wild Whisper business, so that was really sweet. Thank you to them for sending us a card. That was so nice. Um, here's a little fold out with a camera from the Where To Next collection. I stamped that and cut it out. Here's an ephemera piece from Canadian Winter. And then here are some pictures of Hometown Hockey, us meeting Mike Commodore and Matt Stajan, both former Flames players, and some journaling. And then on the back, I, jur I journaled and um, took pictures of me testing my shot speed, so that was pretty fun. And that just slips in this envelope. Um, I bought a hat as a souvenir there. Um, that says hometown hockey on it and stuff. So this was the tag um, by the hockey company that makes the hats. We also got some free sunglasses that came in this cute little pouch with a drawstring. So I included that as well. I just put a piece of thick, um, almost cardboard, I guess, in there that's well, I guess it's thin cardboard or thick cardstock, however you want to think of it, um, just to keep it flat. And then on the back, I glued on this picture. Um, here's another picture of my mom and I, and it's this whole story has lots of filler stuff, but I love the graphics and everything of the hometown hockey, so I wanted to include lots of the hockey stuff from Canadian Winter as well. Um, I included 
one of the little flares from Canadian Winter with the maple leaves, so that was appropriate for hometown hockey. And I forgot to take this thing off this time. It might be jingling, sorry. Um, on the 21st, we went to a escape room, and the roads were pretty... Whoa. Um, actually, so this is the same day. Um, later that night, we went, and the roads were pretty snowy, but it looked really pretty. And we did a escape room called Mission Antarctica, so here's our team after we completed it. And then the next day, this is the 22nd, my sister-in-law and I went skating at the Olympic Plaza here in Calgary. So another super fun winter activity. There's the Christmas tree in the middle. There's our bow tower here in Calgary. This is a new one they're building right there that kind of twists. It looks pretty cool. I love this picture. And the antler paper, um, this one is a newer release from the Masculine collection, but we've had the antlers in previous Christmas collections, so it kind of ties in. And I've got this little snowflake die cut, a couple little snowflake embellishments. Um, here's my sister-in-law and I, and I just titled it Best Friends, Happy Smiles and Twinkling Eyes. Love that. Just a nice full page one. I've got this little tag of us skating, stamped the date. Um, that says 21-2, but I feel like that was the 22nd. I might have to check the date on that. <laughs> might have to fix. And then I've got this cute little envelope. I believe I got these from Michaels a couple years ago. And it comes with this printed on. Um, but I added this sticker, and it comes with this printed on. And then I just put this little spinner doodad to keep it closed. And inside, I've got another little pullout. So yeah, the day I spent with my sister-in-law was the 22nd, so I might have to change the date on this tag. Um because that kind of stuff will probably bother me. So here's a picture of me in my hockey jersey that I just took skating, and then some journaling. Uh, we went on a sushi date as well. Inside of the envelope, I stamped this pattern on some copy paper and then glued it in and trimmed it out and into the edges, so I kind of customized the inside of that envelope. This is a little, there, tricky to get back on. Um, we also went for ice cream that day. There's a place called Made by Marcus in Calgary, and I think they have it in Edmonton too, that's got really good ice cream. So we went there, and I've got this clear little um, transparency with some leaves, and I put some glitter and sequins in there. This is the business card from Made by Marcus. And this tag showing the date actually works on both sides. It's hard to see, but it says 23 on that side. And this was a day that I just documented Pippin, my dog, playing in the snow. She was being really cute. She likes to stick her head in the snow. She just loves it. There she's buried. And again, another shaker thing here. Um, this worked perfectly because it says frosty on one side and snow on the other, so it worked for the ice cream and the snow. Then I've got this picture of my dog wearing some sunglasses. She was not impressed, but she just looks pretty cool, so I wrote too cool in some gold stickers there. She's too cute. Um, up here I just used a bit of skate lace and tied a little bow around it. On the back I've got some journaling, and this page is everything I read in 2019. So I started listening to audiobooks that year, and I also um, read some traditional print books. Um, so everything in grey I listen to in audio, and everything else is typical book. So you can 
pause and check that out if you want or come follow me on Goodreads. I like to track everything on there too. Um, and I think on Goodreads my name is Heather Almer. I think that's how you find me. I'm not sure. I just use it to track it for myself. Um, and then this is the 24th and I had kind of a cool story. It was a bit of a Christmas miracle so I titled it Christmas Miracle. I had ordered this um, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star makeup palette and I never buy nice makeup so it was kind of special for me and I was waiting forever for it to get delivered because it was like a pre-order that I did um, and I really hoped it would come in time for Christmas to do my makeup for Christmas and on Christmas Eve we go to a church so I wanted to dress up for that. I started doing my makeup and I was about to start on my eyeshadow when the delivery postman came to my door and delivered this parcel literally the same second I was about to apply my other makeup. So it was incredibly miracle timing so I documented that and wrote about it. Very cool. Um, then we went to Christmas Eve service um, in the day, the daytime of Christmas Eve so I documented that. I love the little antler flare and there's a picture of the stage. We go to a big church on Christmas Eve so it's quite a production that they put on. Um, and then in here I've got my um, makeup collab postcard thing for the mini controversy palette. I cut up some packaging and put my makeup look in there and then this was the little handout from the Christmas Eve service. Here's a picture of Abby and I dressed up nice and this die cut of the deer and florals I love. I just backed the flowers with red paper to tie it in. And then over here is our Christmas Eve dinner. We go to um, my grandparents-in-law for dinner. So that's everybody dishing up. My sister-in-law and I. And I have this little jingle bell tied to the paper clip, which that was fun. Then on Christmas Day, here we are. So Andrew and I do our own Christmas Day um, present opening, I guess, at home in the morning. So that's what this is. But he's looking at a book that I got him and Pippin just was staring right at him, listening to him read from this book. It was such a cute picture I captured and I titled it Little Listener because she's just listening so intently, looking admiringly at him. She's just precious. And then over here, this is the view. I love this view coming down my parents' gravel road um, when it's a bright blue sky and snow on the ground. It's so pretty. And Christmas time has come at last, that says, and I put a family transparency there and just did, oops, sorry, not looking at the screen to make sure I'm on screen, did some stuff up here. Then in this page, I stitched it together to make a pocket page. So I've got this cute little tag in there with a photo on the back of the quilt my mom made for Andrew this Christmas. It's hard to see in the photo, but it has this beautiful mountain scene panel with an eagle flying, which he loves eagles, it's his favorite animal, and we both love mountains. Um, this was my Christmas letter to Santa, I guess, <laughs> and for Christmas I wish for peace, love, and happiness, and maybe something Harry Potter, because I've been very obsessed with Harry Potter these days. Um, here was our Christmas breakfast. We always have Eggs Benedict at my parents' house, and here was our Christmas dinner over at my aunt's house. That was amazing as well. And then... Here's another beautiful view. I took this while we were going to my aunt's house. It was a little bit foggy and the trees and you could see the mountain line and it was just beautiful. I put Merry and Bright there with a December 25th sticker. Just kept it simple with a big title. I love these puffy stickers and I love when they're not in a page protector so I can actually feel them. 
Here's um, one of those mini 2x2 two two square pages that I love to use as kind of a filler and just for interest. So I included that same picture but different sections of the picture and some shaker pockets here and here with the little deer and snowflake and just some cute stuff. This little um, deer charm I stuck on there with a couple pop dots so that he's stuck pretty good but he still kind of wiggles which is cool. On the back I've got um, the start of Boxing Day which we spent this year with the in-laws. We alternate which year we spend Christmas and Boxing Day with who and we're synchronized with most people so it works out well with the siblings. And so yeah, here's my mimosa on Boxing Day morning, my stamped snow day um, mug, and a more filler. I got Andrew a Flames jersey for Christmas, so I stuck that one on there. And then here are some of the funny tags we wrote on each other's presents, so we tried to be a little goofy with those. And then in here, I've got some pictures of Boxing Day with the in-laws. So there's my sweet niece and my sister-in-law. Andrew opening a present of slime. His grossed out face. There's my cute little nephew, the red-headed. And there's the kids again opening presents, opening books we got them and some journaling down there as well. On the back, I've got my mimosa, and this little phrase I hand-lettered, it's mimosa, not mimosa, which is kind of a play on Harry Potter, if you know Hermione's quote, it's leviosa, not leviosa. Um, that's what that refers to, and because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, I had to include that. Um, I didn't make up the mimosa version, I saw it somewhere. And then here is kind of a couple pictures of Boxing Day. There's the two of us. This is the hat I was talking about that I got from Hometown Hockey, and I got it signed by the players we met too, so that's pretty cool. And then a title card, Merry Boxing Day, it says, and the date. Um, apparently in the States, they don't really, I don't know if they call it Boxing Day, but um, to us here in Canada, Boxing Day is a huge day for shopping, kind of like the States has Black Friday. So that's what most people think of on Boxing Day is the shopping, crazy sales and stuff. Um, here's some pictures of presents that we got. I like to lay everything out so I can reference it later and um, thank everybody and appreciate all the gifts. And here is Pippin with her gifts that she got. She got a few toys and a few bags of treats, so she was spoiled as well. Very cute. I did my journaling there. Um, here, the 28th, we went for dinner with a couple friends, and this flips up to reveal more pictures. I've got sushi in there, and then we also went for ice cream as well after. Here's our friends, and I just journaled there and cut it up on strips. Here's another one of those transparency windows with the florals and the tag. And on the back is more of that same day, so it says 28 on the back as well. And my hubby and I went skating and played a little hockey on the outdoor rink, so I documented that. Lots of fun. On the 29th, I did a few things, but I like to try and include a picture of our house where we live since we're still renting and um, don't necessarily spend more than one Christmas in each place. Hopefully we'll be in this house for a little bit, but who knows what will happen. So I documented that there and used a little house wood veneer there. Then this is a paper bag, so I just folded part of it and then inside I included my bath that I took and then on this side I've got some journaling and some more pictures of the day. So had a good dinner and went for a walk with Pippin. 
And then on the back is my brother-in-law's birthday is December 30th. So we went for drinks and we went to the Star Wars movie in here. Um, I guess we, we went for brunch first, then we went to the movie, and then we went for drinks, so that was fun. There is my father-in-law, and I used some Cheers washi. On here I stamped our log stump stamp background from Wild Whisper. Okay, yeah, here it is. That's the stump stamp, so it's a really good, awesome, big one that's great for all kinds of different background pieces. And then the last day, nearing the end here, um, this is New Year's Eve. So I cut out this little piece from our ticket we had. We went to a Flames game um, with a bunch of friends. And so I got to use more hockey stuff. I had a very hockey month. Um, here's some friends. Here's our little ticket with the Flames logo. Um, little skate um, flare button. And then I included this burlap um, pouch thing and just put little tabs on it to go in the rings. This was the um, fireworks we saw off of the Calgary Tower and you can also see the saddle dome in there we watch from the top of the hill. Um, in here as well are some more pictures. There's a picture of the saddle dome before the game I think that was and then another friend and then some journaling and there's our ticket as well so I had two of these tickets we were supposed to trade them for champagne but got too um, distracted at the party afterwards and kept our tickets but they were perfect for um, documenting the night so I wasn't too upset about it then on the back is this cool deer dude and I put 2020 on his hat. Here's a few more pictures from the game. It's a great day for hockey. There's Hubby wearing his new Camilleri Flames jersey that I got him. And another shaker pocket with a deer and this wood veneer photo frame. And lastly, our January 1st, I usually include something. So there's the brunch we went out for um, at Original Joe's and then we welcomed our new design team that day as well, so I included their picture, uh, our Wild Whisper design team. So that is the end of the album. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you take some inspiration from it. Um, please let me know what you thought, and again, tell me if it's if you participated in December Daily this year and how you liked it, um, yeah, just let me know. And I think I counted earlier, but I can't remember what year this is that I did. It might have been my eighth year, seven or eighth year maybe, doing December Daily. But I really appreciate you coming to watch and thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you have a wonderful day and bye! -bye.